What's up, YouTube? It's Glass. It's Lunar today, and uh, we chilling. I got a. Uh, I think I like recording without having to go live. I think I'm gonna stick to this. But uh, I got a new video for y'all today. It's from uh, whatever podcast. This the clips channel that they got, and um, it says why modern dating is ruined for average men. So we finna we finna get into that. And the, oh shit, it got Sneaky on it. That is Sneaky, right? Yeah. All right. And even you being like a ma match or what, like a. Oh, let me start it over. There we go. I, I have a bit of a pessimistic view of dating in general. Mm -hmm. Like. And even you being like a match or what, like a dating yeah, coach. coach, like those apps, I just saw a video recently. Those apps aren't meant to even help people get on dates. Like they're meant to keep you on there because if, if two people meet and have a successful relationship, mm -hmm. the app Lose loses business. business. So they're in. That's also true. Like dating gaps. Like if you notice, if you ever use dating gaps, you only get a match if you spend like some money. I've noticed that like if you want to get a uh like say you want a, a date as a dude you get on there you spend like ten dollars for the unlimited swipes for like a week then it then it'll match you with people like instantly you'll get matches instantly but then say you try to do free you know what i'm saying and you don't pay for nothing you're not gonna get shit bro and it's gonna fuck up your uh it's gonna fuck with your mental, bro. For real, it's gonna fuck with you a lot, especially now, bro. Like, day naps is a is a joke. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare use those motherfuckers. Incentivized to keep your lonely ass on there, swiping for more people, and they strategically will put ugly ones in there and then put a cute one in there, knowing that oh, intermittent reinforcement. Mm -hmm, there you go. You, I mean, you get it. You know how apps work. Hinge, Hinge is a bit better about it, but mm. you need to be very intentional to like actually take advantage of their whole design to be deleted thing. And I, I just think about how yeah, back in the olden days, like just dating was simpler. When your parents yeah. met, it was simpler. There was no. Mm. Like options. all the girls here have gotten a hundred times more like attention than I get. And I have millions of followers. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how does a normal guy even compete in this dating market? You can't like if a regular girl's getting 50 to a hundred DMS approaches, whatever, how, how do you even stand a chance? So I feel really bad for you. Can't you, it's impossible, bro. Or the majority of men who don't have a lot of success in a dating pool and i don't know what the solution is i feel like you just have to level up the best you can appearance wise financial wise everything because the competition is like it's crazy i mean can i yeah can go comment on mm -hmm. that i agree and disagree because none of the messages that i ever receive i ever respond to mm. i would only as a at, for myself i would only pursue a man who is pursuing me in person and mm. making an effort phys like appearance wise shows me that he has ambition but then that'll be the same ones that if you say something to him in public you're a creep or they ignore you or give you stink face like it sounds good when they're in these video chats and, and me not video chats when they're in these podcasts and stuff but as soon as they actually see you in person or something if you're not if you're not what they already have in their head there is is they're ignoring you bro for real etc mm. and but there's a lack of that because can men... we get a posture check from you and just i feel like you're slouching oh, and I'm, yes, just, I'm looking out my, my, I'm, my thing keeps I'm, I'm looking out for you it's all my, good like, your booster my booster seat keeps slipping okay i don't know what i was saying <laughs> no i see what you're saying like you specifically won't answer dms mm-hmm I'm not sure if most girls behave like that. I think girls will, most girls will answer certain DMs from certain guys, mm -hmm. but it's just like, how do you compete with, I know like y'all are getting blue checks and athletes and like some really top tier guys. How does a regular dude even get close to that? Like you can't. 
So they don't. You don't. And they then don't. and then they end up, hey, can I pay it two grand to kick me in the nuts? Like, mm -hmm. like no, I have seen statistics like I've done thorough just like paying two grand to kick some, get kicked in the nuts is crazy just to have uh talk with a female that's insane, bro. Like checks to make sure it's from actual studies and then asking men I know asking my like ex when we were still together men are not having sex these days mm -hmm. whereas every yeah. girl i know if she isn't celibate she has had sex whenever she wants to and it is a serious topic that i considered sending beforehand but then i was like eh. yeah so you're right it's so true. it's it's kind of a weird dire situation send the asteroid <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh i don't know I, I don't know what the solution is and, and we're in this but, era of like hating on men and i'm like damn i think men need the most help now more agreed. than ever but it's they like, also need each it. other yeah. supporting go, go, them. Ryan, yes. keep going ryan keep uh, going ryan i don't have too much more to go on that but yeah you there's this gender war going on it's like yeah. whoa like there's so many men i mean you hear the stories of kick kick me and spit on me and i'll, I'll pay you 100 bucks just to speak to me like how incredibly sad is that i don't know if y'all could even fathom having to pay like someone yeah that's insane bro fellas never never get that low bro i'd rather y'all just invest in a playstation and find, find the bros or something before you get that low bro there's so many more ways to not be lonely out here but jesus bro don't stop feeding into the only fan shit bro stop stop have thinking you have to pay for these bitches because you don't bro like you do not have to pay for these females bro if they fuck with you they gonna fuck with you bro and that's and I, i'm just being real bro and it kind of sucks to like you know from my like from my side like i'm a dj so like you know all right growing up like you know i had the worst look but like as soon as i started djing or whatever then you know females like that position of power or like talking to the dj to get in for free and shit like that and i saw and it was all the ones that snoozed on me growing up <clears throat> and so it's just it's the so i i understand bro like i'm not preaching from a side of like i don't understand y'all and that's one thing i hate about a lot of these talk shows and these dudes who do these podcasts and and, and these videos and stuff is that they talk from a side that they don't even understand what it means to be lonely and what it means to not have nobody want you and what it means to like look and then like you feel like you got to change everything about you just to get somebody to say hey and i try all i've done all that stuff I like tried to change my whole like way of life. I tried to change every nerdy thing about me, just every, and it just sucks. And at the end of the day, if you do that, <clears throat> the women that you find aren't even into you for you. They just like the image of you. And that shit sucks. You know what I'm saying? And then today's world, like it's just, I, I understand. And that's why I'm also here to say that like, especially as black men it sucks that we have to like do so much for females to even look our way and and i'm not throwing no no shade at my white brothers here but like my i have a white guy i got white friends who who's always been able to get girls and they don't have to change nothing about them they can talk like a female will women will just look at a white dude and just accept them for who they are and give them the time of day versus like a black dude if you're not street adjacent and doing all this street shit as a black dude they're not going to fuck with you and it fucking sucks dude like it sucks so goddamn bad and i know i'm gonna get heat in the comments or whatever but y'all can sit there and preach all you want to but it's the truth like for black dudes we have to do so much bs for somebody to like us and then you can sit there and say like oh well, quit being ashy and all this stuff no nigga like yes there's like it's dudes out here who are quote unquote ashy or whatever but like i'm talking about dudes that actually take care of themselves brush their teeth brush their hair like you know put on decent clothes if we don't look like anything street adjacent or rapper or whatever you see that the media pushes on black folks they don't give us the time of day and that 
fucking sucks, dude. And I don't know how many times I can preach this. But it's awful how they fucking treat black dudes if you're not what the media portrays. And then on top of that, women get with those dudes all the fucking time. The street adjacents, the, the drug dealers, the hustlers and shit. Not all hustlers, but you can be a hustler and, and not be, you know, a street dude. But they get with the the fucking niggas selling weed and all that stuff. Get treated like shit and then blame all black men. And then, like, they sit there and talk shit about black men nonstop. And just, you know, excommunicate us no matter what. And then put all those, like, stigma and, like, fucking all that shit on top of dudes like me. When we didn't even, they, they didn't even gave us a time of day. And, it, and it, it just sucks for black dudes. And I wish, like, black dudes got the same luxury when it came to talking to females like white dudes or Asian dudes or Hispanic dudes do. Like, white dudes can talk to anybody. All they got to do is have confidence, bro. If you're a white dude and you ain't got no hoes, you ain't got no confidence. There's something wrong with you, bro. And I'm not saying nothing to be funny, but, like, y'all already are viewed in a way to where, like, just it's just positive. Y'all just got positive reinforcement. And you can call it fucking white privilege or whatever. But y'all have the luxury that y'all can go up to some a female or any any woman out here and just be yourself and they will give you the time of day versus a black dude trying to do that same thing and they and they the the woman is clutching their pearls or or just giving them the stink eye and ignoring them. It fucking it's awful out here. Even though we're all in this shit together. I do feel like y'all can, you know. But a lot of, and what's crazy though, that I also realized that a lot of white dudes that are single or whatever, they're the ones that got like these, like this super body type or like stuff built in your head, which it's okay, that's how you're raised. But, like, they be wanting females looking like Taylor Swift, like, super thin and stuff. And you may live next door to a perfectly decent female that will cook and clean. She's probably in love with you already. And you're going to give her the time of day. I have noticed that. Not saying all white dudes are like that. But it's something I have noticed. Just from, and I live in the South, deep South. So, like, I see this on, like, a, a everyday basis. And especially in the forums and stuff or just going out. Or when I DJ or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But let's get back to the video. $100 just to speak to you. And here we are, misogynist, toxic, this and that. Yeah. And like, that's, that's why I, I like to try to, I don't know, root for guys. Like, Absolutely. nobody's here to help men right. at all. Mm -hmm. And it's cool to. I'm literally helping men. Well, I, I appreciate and that. And I agree. <laughs> and I, there, there's a lot of very nice, good guys who just get overwhelmed from what I've observed from the whole alpha male podcast thing. And that's why I think it's important for, you know, panels like this, people showing that it's okay to have your view. Um, if you're only getting one match a week, that's okay. Because like I mentioned earlier, it just takes one person if you wanna be in a relationship unless you're into poly. Mm. And I know you have to go, but I did have one question for you. Sorry to like yeah. string this uh, on I a little longer, over. Brian. Um, have you ever told your male clients to be an ass? To, to girls i never to be a dick what typically happens though is they are scared of being seen as predatory or mm. douchey so they end up never even asking a girl out so what i have done for most of them actually is say like you don't need to ask her five questions in a row to try to seem like you're interested it's okay to like like she's dating you too mm -hmm. so you do need to talk about yourself mm. but i've never attracted yeah, I attract very nice clients who feel awkward. Never tell them to be douchey. The most I've done is say, try to be a little bit more cool and maybe don't text her back one minute later at 7 a.m. Mm. Yeah, I was Like, just... don't be desperate, no, but, I get what but you're don't saying, be a douche. Yeah, I look... I, I was, it happens a I lot like... where 
this. Women aren't attracted to nice yeah. men. They would rather mm-hmm. be treated like crap. To, to desperate men, I would. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of times something? nice guys. Mm-hmm. Um, was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, you kind like of, you like dicks? Is that what you said? <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> I heard. I like dick. Like no, like um, kind of like when guys kind of don't give you as much attention and like stuff like that it kind of makes me want to like chase them yeah you know what I mean? that's it's not, about the chase yeah. and if i'm not chasing no, but, and, but, like, but that's like maturity versus immaturity like you probably aren't going to find a husband if you're dating like that but at i'm 18, not dating you don't, like that. and at like, 18 you don't need a husband like if um if don't guys don't do that I, that's not like a break point for me i'm just saying like if he's simping after she cap him she cap him bro like i guarantee you if a dude <laughs> that she didn't fuck with was like super nice to her and that's what i keep telling y'all like if you I'll, and this another thing too that sucks dude. my bros my brothers if you are interested in a girl you can't show her you interested and it's so goddamn backwards bro it is so backwards it it sucks bro like if, say you feeling this girl and you fucking with her you can't show her none of that you gotta make sure like not necessarily you got options but that you know it's so weird how to how to even put this into words just like she said it like if y'all texting and she texts you back don't text back instantly bro matter of fact get in the habit to where like you're so used to not being on your phone and getting out of your phone so when you do start talking to a female you forget to text back you know what i'm saying or you you text back you know when you see your phone and stuff like so like for me it kind of like fixed me it kind of like like upgraded me in a sense that i didn't even think about so i used to be really heavy into my phone and always on it Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Especially when, like, uh, the Shonen Jump apps came out. Like, not, like that's why I bought a tablet, so I can read on my tablet or something. Or, or like, you got gaming handhelds. I stay on my a gaming handheld. Like, and all of those have, like, internet and stuff. But, like, I used to be really on my phone about everything. So, when I would text females, and they would, like, instantly text me i would instantly text back instantly instantly all the time and i would get nowhere no fucking where and i found myself always on my phone depressed scrolling do mindlessly scrolling always seeing all this stuff going going everything in the world and i would just get more and more and more depressed dude like it was it was really a mind fuck especially when like tumblr was real heavy and i saw like everybody like going into the tumblr sphere and like getting like people talking to them and stuff that's why i was really heavy on twitter back in the day but people would talk to me on twitter but i get on tumblr nobody fuck with me nobody at all and and tumblr taught me how the internet was going to because now i get on the internet and don't nobody fuck with me don't nobody say nothing to me not a soul and but that's okay like mentally now those people are more depressed than i am now so now when i needed to i started to detox myself from the internet and it's gonna sound weird but like our brains are not supposed to be on the internet scrolling like this like it is like that's why kids have no attention span today and they're all bad and they're all just like is that's a whole nother topic but you gotta like detox yourself from your phone or like leave start or not leave it because like when you go places you still need your phone but like have a bag like say like i i carry like uh you know like one strap bags or like fanny packs but i wear them like to the side and stuff or my backpack i'll put my phone in my bag bro so i don't have it like if i if i'm doing something if i'm doing something bro or like if i'm out if i like want to like go like if i want to do something like on like a phone or something like, let's just say like i'm out hanging out with my pops and like we're just at the club chilling eating or whatever instead of grabbing my phone i grab my playstation portal or i grab my 
a Steam Deck or I grab my RLG Alley or I grab my uh, tablet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you may think that, you know, you are, you know, investing into something that you don't need or this and the third. But in the long run, you will get through your back catalog. But secondly, you won't be on your phone depressed. I've learned that the more you're on your phone, the more you're looking for that dopamine rush, you're not going to get on your phone. Like you go, like you reach for your phone when you're bored or you feel out of place. Like the only time I, you will ever see me on my phone, if I feel awkward in a store and I know somebody's following me, like, like secret shoppers or like the police are like following me around or not, not necessarily the police, but like, you know, security guards and stuff. If you're in the mall or this, then the third. And that's when I grab my phone and like mindlessly scroll. But if like if I'm out with like family and like we're not doing nothing and we're just chilling or like I'm hanging out with somebody, I I reach for those devices first. And it just taught me to like, oh, I'm trying I'm I'm bored. So let me do something. And and then you get on your phone, you just get more depressed because you ain't got no messages, you ain't got this and third, none of that. And so if you train yourself to not care about your phone when you say you start talking to somebody, and it may sound toxic to to the women watching this, it may sound super toxic, but she just proved your point. That like when you text back instantly, they get hella like you gotta seem like you're busy. You gotta seem like you're doing something, even if you're not. Because they will look at you as desperate. And it sucks that, like, anything you do is desperate, bro. For real. It sucks. But that's how I broke my habits. And now when I do text somebody, I am doing something. I am I am trying to beat this level. To her, it may not mean nothing important. But to me, y'all gamers, y'all know, I'm trying to beat this, this fucking Elden Ring boss, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to slay this nigga on Armor Corps. I'm trying to get through this raid on Destiny. Like, I'm trying to do something now. Like, now nah, and then you creating that dopamine hit that you need. Now you get, and then on top of that, you getting back to something that you love. Bros, if you don't like gaming or something, I don't know what to tell you, but you 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 should read. Like, if you read something, like, I love reading. I've been reading through so many more manga now that I got my um tablet. And, like, I get, like, I, got, I even got a physical collection. Take a book with you, bro. I keep a book in one of my bags at all times, bro. Like, do anything besides get on that goddamn phone, bro. And watch watch your mental change like just off top but watch how happy you start feeling because you're not just mindlessly scrolling now yes i'm not saying like just stay off internet because you know you want to connect the folks or talk to people but like have a certain time for that like say like you get home from work and you want to decompress before you get on the game like you want to just crack jokes with the cuzzo on facebook do that but when you see you're starting to scroll mindlessly get off of it bro get off of it get the fuck off that shit bro after you probably won't take them seriously no right? i i would i would for sure i've done that with a lot of guys but um uh -huh. i mean isn't that pretty common like girls like yeah guys who are assholes i think it's yes. kind of it's pretty, i feel like a common. lot of people do that like it's the chase you know what i mean i like yeah. when my man is like obsessed with me I like when my man is respectful and not an asshole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I just know growing up, I was the I was the nice guy and never got anything. And then even me and my guy friends would be like, I said this to this girl and she loved it. And, I, and <laughs> I'm like, why do they like being mistreated or whatever? And I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be a villain, but I, was, I, I, I got turned into a villain. So. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, man, bro. Like, and that, they, they, and what's crazy? They create their own goddamn villains, bro. They create their own villains, bro. Sorry. I think that Are depends you, on the women that you yeah, want to be Yeah, or select with. women differently. It's no. a No, don't let them believe it's select women. Even the good ones are like this, bro. Even the good ones want you to be some type of asshole, bro. It does not make no It makes no sense. Trauma cycle. So you're saying the women that I'm speaking to specifically are the ones that are into that and there's girls that are... You attract yes. what you put out. 
or you attract the inverse of it so like my most long-term client he used to just go on dates with the strangest woman like one of them she was like yeah i like to dead animals yeah that's crazy Whoa. yeah wait, but wait, that's wait, the, I, the woman said that, that yes it was he used to attract very strange he also lives in like a rural area um but that's when he was being a nice guy but in reality he wasn't being nice he was letting himself be stepped on mm. by letting her decapitate yeah, it's, it's like animals I'm no like he would just date strange women so i think uh, if you're dating that's some psycho, desperate or traumatized or hurt woman dumber shit. then you just aren't selecting who you're dating like I'm not a place to be dating someone for the rest of my life. I don't want a husband. I'm not ready for that. Therefore, the dudes who are t carrying themselves in such a way that they want that type of commitment should not be trying to talk to me because when I say, oh yeah, I'm flying out tomorrow, so let's reschedule our date. Like I'm not, basically reevaluate who you're attracting and if you feel like you have to be a douche to get them to like you, maybe don't go for them. Yeah, well I would Did say, that make sense? I, I completely understand your viewpoint. I didn't attract any, like, being nice attracted nobody. Mm -hmm. Being not nice attracts people. Mm -hmm. Like, fair enough just observation. Crazy. So it's like, but I'm well, just do, speaking do from my perspective. Do you want a busy a love guy. life or a very, like, I think it's very fair to want to just go on a bunch of dates, get a bunch of action. Mm -hmm. And if being not douchey, but a little bit less attentive, mm -hmm. I think that's super valid. And like, I have not for very long, but I've worked with some men who want just casual dating and then it's a few little tweaks and then boom, they get it. Mm. And that's valid. But if you want wifey, would wifey accept that behavior? I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. And it's I'm all at about a, your intentions. Yeah. I'm at a point where I, I don't have to act anyway. I've just, the way I am, I'm able to Good. weed through. Yeah, I, I definitely don't have to put weed on like your a, thousands of DMs. <laughs> I have to weed through them all. <laughs> nah, it's uh. I've gotten to a better spot, but I remember being like a sis, what's a senior in high school. And it was like, I was, yeah, I was also going to say, I feel like the younger crowd of women are more into that. Yes. Like a little, yes. like As evidence, a mature, little mature older women, women that like, like nicer they want guys. men that take care yeah, of them. Exactly. And but in their youth, mm -hmm. who were they going after? I, one of the, our previous male panelists on the show, Brandon from way back, and I don't know if any of you girls have, have heard this saying, maybe you've heard it. I don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but have any of you heard the saying, if you treat her like dirt, she'll stick to you like mud. Oh no. Interesting. I've heard that. It's, it is wow. catchy. It is catchy. I don't know if there's any <laughs> truth to it, but uh, I wonder if part of it is like uh, maybe, obviously women are attracted to confident men. Self well, I think like maybe when some women are younger, they're going to confuse like that arrogance or asshole behavior as for confidence. Yeah. And maybe they, yes. they, maybe they are confident too. Um, so it's almost like they'd rather date a guy who's an asshole but confident than date a guy who's nice but weak mm -hmm. or a guy who's nice but yeah. insecure because it's not attractive. And also I think like, for example, there is... I'm not an expert in psychology, but like there is a phenomenon where women will like get in touch and there's a few ex potential explanations for this. Women will contact men who are in prison seeking oh, like romantic relationships mm -hmm. with these men who are like murderers, killers, mm -hmm. even like the fucking uh, yeah. serial killers will get like attention from women. They'll be like con sending him letters. They'll want to meet him maybe even get married what did you send a letter to a prisoner the way you're looking at me right now <laughs> oh just the way you're looking i was like what you said i, I also feel pals? like um girls are into like i've heard like some of my friends say this they they like like toxic relationships like they like the oh, fight the drama yeah. i think that's they, like, part of it too toxicity. yeah i do think that uh I the think... worst thing you can do is bore a woman i think yeah I've yes, heard that. yes you can do anything except bore. yeah i think yeah. you can yeah. do anything except bore a woman so it's it's uh I think there's that component. I think another component is like a guy who's a criminal, who's like a, right? He's capable of violence. And I think it does, like there's an evolutionary component of like a guy who's capable of violence. Uh, you can, you can sort of see that, okay, he would be capable of, he would be prepared to defend you. Mm -hmm. And it's like sort of this, 
I don't know. That's so it's like, I think he's trying to say like, you know, like, uh, let's just take the Vikings for instance. Like, you know how the Vikings went to war all the time, but when they came home, they were quote unquote loving to their wives, even though they wasn't loving. They took, they took a lot of stuff out on their wives, but like some of those Viking men did like, you know, care for their families. They just didn't, they didn't show their emotions, but you could tell they really did love their families and stuff like that. And so I think that's what the evolutionary trait is, you know, especially with like men today feel like they don't have no purpose. And once you find your purpose, like, you know, you get, you get on top of that. And a lot of, evolutionary traces inside of us are are still like they're just embedded like women want to be social creatures like they were social creatures back during like uh when men would go to war and they would be or when they go out and hunt men would go out and hunt and kill and you know get the um get the the food for the day for the whole tribe and stuff and then they would the women would be in circles you know talking and gossiping and, and and you know while doing the knitting and baking and getting everything ready for tonight like it was that for them it was social for us it was we was on the prowl we we didn't like we socialized but it was in very fucking like gruesome very intense situations you know what i'm saying that's why like you see like the best of friends you know bond over like football basketball like they've been through the mud with each other you know what i'm saying and a lot of that is lost with today but it's but we find it through other means like i don't like i can think of like a million of my gamer friends that like we beat very hard bosses with each other and it's not the same as in like killing stuff in real life but those same dopamine effects are getting created as it did back then you know what i'm saying and then it was probably even more back then because you was also like um you was also hit through with like life and death situation stuff and so y'all bonded even closer so that's what all of that shit is still embedded in us so with all of that to be said women see women women used to be locked in on how violent how much of a man you was when you would go out and hunt and stuff and they wanted that protection to be theirs and like to soften you up so i can definitely see that still being a prime thing when um especially when you're younger because that's when like uh you know back then back way back in like times like you know viking times you know the roman uh the roman era you know the egyptian pyramid era just all of that like the bible era we got we got married young women got married off young so like they look for that and like they're at that when they're in high school they're looking for that like their hormones are kicking in and they're looking for that through men that's why a lot of them date older dudes and it'd be seen and dudes like when i was young i remember females dating all these older dudes and shit and it, i would be like bro i can't compete with them and it like you know looking back on it those dudes were sick but it's just embedded in their nature like once they hit a certain age that's what they're looking for that's what they're going after that's what they're attracted to and it sucks and a lot of the times it's just the dudes being an asshole that trigger those embedded emotions that's been passed down with us through generations and it is what it is and that makes sense yeah. but it's, it's hot if a guy gets weird. into like a fight over you yeah yeah there you go yeah. Yeah. there's the pathology and then if you just take it like really far then you get to the britney spears in love with a criminal yeah. i yep. also feel like it's the aftermath of like in the fight after you know when you have like 
There's like after fight huh? sex. You're talking about oh, the after no. sex? Wait, yeah, what? have you guys oh. heard of that? <laughs> Wait, what? Just you. Oh, <laughs> no, you know what I'm talking about. You fight and then after you, you have fight like with the best sex. Oh, yeah. makeup. Yeah. Oh, Wait, makeup sex. Makeup oh, makeup like an oh. argument? Yeah, so like oh. for a lot of people, I've like heard this, like for a lot of people, they're, they're, they would like fight with their significant other and then the they have like sex. really good sex after. Is this from first hand? <laughs> yes. Yes. Experience. Oh, so you would start shit with your no, boyfriend? No, no, I wouldn't start shit on oh, purpose. Oh, okay. But just, yeah, you would never. Start but an also, argument. like, and then after the fight, he'd like comfort you and stuff like that. I think that's another reason. I mean, I don't like toxic relationships, but I think that could be reasons why people do. Okay, yeah. fair enough. I'd fair I'd enough. rather a man fight another man over me than fight well, yeah, me. Yeah. Well, but, duh. <laughs> but then there's another thing that I've spoken about with one of my other friends as well. I'm a very calm, gentle guy, and the girls would be choke me, slap me, like in bed. Oh, yeah. And it's like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to hurt yeah. you. It's yeah. harder. This and that. And it's like, because there is something primal and instinctual about them wanting to be overpowered and dominated and violence. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, I do not want to be violent. I've only seen all. that in women who have like, childhood trauma though yes. yeah. i feel like a lot like, of girls i'm, like I'm thinking about i can yes. only speak from like <laughs> no, my i don't friends. know what happens <laughs> in the past like five years or some shit every right. every chick's like like asking wants to be you know i, what I mean I, it's that's statistically I they've they've figured out that it's because more women are watching more porn mm. and Ooh, porn in like it. not only fans i mean like the porn actual porn, porn industry that's mm. They I, are so violent and it's desensitizing i hate men to you hate getting choked what about the let's ex like maybe I, if some of the girl do you prefer gentle or rough sex gentle it okay. just depends on my mood i don't mind either one okay depends on the on the man depends on okay i feel like it definitely depends on the mood yeah come on guys just say you like to be chill <laughs> you, you don't have to you guys can be honest just say you like to Get your hair pulled and get spanked and all this shit. But um, there's obviously a time and place for different types of uh, intercourse. <laughs> but yeah, the, it is a, the, quite the conundrum where it's like th that fear and the danger and violence is like uh, it's uh, addicting. Stress yeah, it's addicting, and so that's why women go mm -hmm. bounce from toxic relationship to toxic relationship because once you're in one you live off of chaos and you live off of toxic energy and stress and stress is cortisol yeah. in your body mm. and so when you and and that's why a lot of those females they be complaining about that shit on facebook man pay attention bros a lot of those females you see complaining about this shit on facebook they love that shit bro they are in love with it bro don't You're let them lie to you to that dopamine rush once it goes away you have to have it back because mm. you withdraw from it so women are constantly seeking that dopamine mm -hmm. rush because that's the only thing they know that they're getting dopamine from is yeah. abuse mm -hmm. there definitely is like a rough sex meta mm -hmm. it seems like i think yeah. you know what I, I think it might be maybe the girls can weigh in on this i think they got corrupted by one dude mm -hmm. there's like some dude one oh guy. yeah one sure. guy who like is kind of into bdsm and he wants to tie you up and choke you and <laughs> fucking spank you and <laughs> put marks on you not, maybe not like hit you but like what you know whatever it is and uh consensually yeah and um and i think a lot of women might i mean 50 shades of gray is like yeah. was yeah it's a movie could also be yeah, another thing and stuff you know, too it's sex has gotten a lot more aggressive i feel mm -hmm. like in movies word mm -hmm. and i i wonder if it's like kind of a uh do I, I don't know what the right term is maybe you guys can help me out with this i don't know if it's a domino effect or if it's a, a snowball I but it's like maybe girls are like heard something or they're, they're like yeah they heard from something from their girlfriends or they heard maybe had an experience with a guy and then they think okay all guys like that okay i'm gonna ask him to almost choke like me. a trend yeah yes. like yeah. snowball effect so then guys are seeing all the girls who are wanting to be cho and then so the guys start like going mm. for it and then the girls must think oh this is what all guys want and so they ask for it so it's like i think that's exactly what it is it's like yeah, a positive sure. negative positive Reinf wait what's what's the term there's a term for this it's negative reinforcement uh, it, yeah and now posi positive feedback loop i think positive that feedback sounds about right loop positive yeah. feedback yeah. loop reinforcement yeah. is rewarding the behavior and positive is giving something rather than taking away so all right y'all uh at the end i i do feel like a lot of women 
are starting to like very rough don't nobody want to be in love no more but that's what i think just nobody is in love anymore and like it's really really sad when you start diving deeper and deeper into all this stuff but uh let me know what you feel like like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one peace out